Okay, so thanks, Pan, for asking how I uh, put the carousel post on LinkedIn. So first I go into Canva, I select download PDF print. I'm assuming that the um, slideshow has already been created. And in my slideshow, I always put the first slide as I only download this first slide for, for my YouTube posts. Really, the slideshow starts with page two. Um, so I have to read. So I down, when I download PDF print, I will select all pages, except I will uncheck the first page. And then I click done and I click download. I usually have 10, I haven't finished the slideshow yet, but anyway, I'm just showing it to you for now. So I download it. It's downloading to my computer as a PDF print, PDF file. And then I go to LinkedIn and then on LinkedIn, I click on start a post and then I click on this button here. After I click start a post, I click on this button here. Okay, this button allows me to choose a file. So I would choose the, uh, the file, my PDF that I put in and it will load for a while and it will, it will allow me to page through the file to, um, to see if that's what I wanted. And this, this file is too short. I'm not going to actually post it. But what you need to also do is to add a document title, which can't be too long, unfortunately. Um, don't worry about making a, about having to make a good first impression. See, it's, it's already too long. So that's like as long as it can be. And then I click, uh, okay, and I click done. And then the, the thing is, not yet posted, it's just showing me, I can actually write something ab above the post. Just like when you post an image or a link on LinkedIn, you can write you know, a preamble uh, sure. that shows up above the thing. I don't usually do it because my slideshow is interesting enough for people to say, well, if I wanna read this, I'm gonna keep going because the, the cover, but you can write something if you want to and then, and then click the post. That's it, oh, you can add hashtags if you want to, yeah. 